Hi, I'm Lisa with Lisa T Fitness. Welcome to the exercise of the month. This month we're going to incorporate a push-up and a squat. So, I call this PUPS, Push-Up Power Squat. And I'm going to show you different modifications that you can do if you're not as advanced. So let's go ahead and begin. We're going to go down into a plank position. We're going to lower the body, inhale, exhale. Get ready to do a power jump. Squat position, lift the body and lower. Step back or you can jump back. Inhale down, exhale, power and again. Notice I jump back on this one. And this definitely increases the intensity of the whole front part of your body because you have to put those brakes on to really focus on keeping the abdominals engaged so you don't feel the lower back. Now we can modify, inhale down and exhale on the knees, go into your plank, bend the knees. If you don't want to jump, giant step. Come on up and lower the body and step back out of it. Now in this instant it does change, whoops, the exercise because you're increasing flexibility when you're taking that big step. And exhale, decreasing the challenge cardio-wise. You're taking the power out of it. And those of you that say, no, I want to definitely keep going and challenge to the next level. If you notice, I did five on each side because the distribution of the weight is different. So I would recommend five to 10 on each side, doing one side first and then taking it to the other side. Or you can alternate, it all depends on what kind of a mood you're in. Whatever you decide to do, this definitely challenges the whole front part of your body, your shoulders, your chest, your abs, your glutes, your quads, your hamstrings, your back muscles, your triceps and your heart. Thank you so much for joining me and have a wonderful day.